In the early 1990s, the UDV established a branch uh, of their church in the United States, uh, specifically in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, subsequently, additional um, uh, nucleos, as they're called, were set up in several other cities, including uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles and Seattle. In the late 90s, um, the U.S. Uh, Customs Department, along with the DEA, intercepted a shipment of ayahuasca to the Santa Fe Church and, in a sense, uh, deprived the uh, church of its psychoactive sacrament. The church um, uh, protested the government action and uh, eventually filed suit in federal court against uh, the U.S. government for uh, depriving them of their, their rights to, uh, to engage in their religious practice. Uh, they contended that it violated the, um, the, um, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, uh, which had been passed some years earlier. The case went to federal court in, uh, in New Mexico, both in Santa Fe and Albuquerque, in 2001, in the fall of 2001, I was the uh, expert medical witness for the UDV, and I testified uh, over for six hours over the course of two days. The hearings themselves, or the trial, lasted, I believe, for three weeks. A variety of uh, experts were uh, were interviewed, both uh, both from the uh, UDV as well as uh, the government, and. In the end, the uh, presiding judge, who was a uh, conservative Republican, uh, ruled, on, ruled in favor of the UDV's position, which surprised me because I really didn't think they, uh, they, that the UDV would prevail, but they did. The government very quickly appealed the judge's decision. The case was taken to the... Uh, uh, Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals in Denver, uh, where it was first heard by a panel, and the panel ruled uh, two to one in favor of the UDV. It was appealed again by the government, taken to the full appeals court, and uh, the ruling again came down in favor of the UDV by an eight to five margin, and predictably the government appealed that ruling as well, and the case was heard in the U.S. Supreme Court in the fall of 2005, and in February 2006, actually on February 21st, 2006, their decision was announced, and it was a unanimous decision uh, on the side of the UDV, protecting their, their freedom of religion rights. And this was really an, uh, an astonishing decision, especially given that it was uh, unanimous. It was also the first um, uh, argument that Chief Justice Roberts, after his uh, joining the court, uh, wrote himself strongly on behalf of the uh, rights to re religion rights of the UDV, and um, so in a sense we have now a precedent uh, uh, established by the U.S. Supreme Court, the highest court of the land, protecting the rights of individuals who uh, utilize a. Uh, plants that have powerful um, psychoactive and even psychedelic properties uh, when they're utilized in, uh, as part of their re religion.